do you use Linux? And do you have a low-end computer running Linux like me and want to play Minecraft with a significant video performance improvement? Hello, I'm Vloop and I made this video for you. Stay with me and I'll show you how to install Sodium Mod on a Linux computer. Spoilers, it is very simple. Sodium is a new mod which main objective is to improve your video performance in Minecraft. As the developers say, Sodium is a free and open source rendering engine replacement for the Minecraft client that greatly improves frame rates, reduces micro stutter and fixes graphical issues in Minecraft. It doesn't compromise on how the game looks, giving you that authentic block game feel. In other words, if you don't use shaders to play because your computer is very limited like mine, or because you don't like shaders anyway, and you want to give that extra oomph, you should definitely give Sodium a try. Let's get right into it. I use Linux Mint here, but the distro is really not important because everything is done using Java, which you probably already have, because it is required to run Minecraft. First thing you have to do is download Fabric Loader and Fabric API required to run the mods. Fabric Downloader and Fabric API links will be in the description. After the download, run the Fabric Loader installer using Java. Go to your download folder and right click the file and choose Properties. Then go to the tab Permissions and click on Allow to run as a program. Close it and then right click again to choose Open with OpenJDK. Sometimes this doesn't work, that depends on your distro. But you can use the terminal instead, which is my favorite because on the terminal, you get the logs from the operation. Open a terminal and go to your downloads folder. Type the following command, java space dash jar fabric and the rest of the file. Wait for the installation to finish, close the terminal and open the Minecraft launcher as you would normally do. This Java installation creates a new installation on your Minecraft launcher. If this doesn't happen, then just go to the tabs installations and create a profile for the fabric loader. I know it's a lot of installation here and there, but there's no different name for this. Anyway, run the game once and close the game. Then download fabric API and the mods that you want. In this case, I'm showing you how to use Sodium mod. So download Sodium from Course Forge, Curse, Curse Forge. <laughs> Here's the link. And after the download, go to your downloads folder, copy and paste or cut and paste the downloaded mods into your mods folder. The only thing you need to install now for real is Fabric Loader, yeah, which you already have installed, the Fabric installer that you downloaded first. All the mobs that you need, you only have to copy them from your downloads folder and paste them into the mods folder which is inside your Minecraft folder. After those steps, you are ready to go. This process is the same for all mods compatible with Fabric that you want to use. If you don't want to use a certain mod, close the game to unload the mods, then you can create a special folder and move the mods that you don't want to this folder. Fabric will load all the mods inside the mods folder. As for my video performance, I was playing with a render distance of 12 maximum and have an FPS of an average of 60, 70. With Sodium, I noticed an amazing increase of an average of 120 FPS or more using render distance of 60 or more. Not only this, but also I don't have like video stuttering sometimes here and there and also together with the mods lithium and phosphor yeah i have a much better lighting uh, engine running and also the chunks loading much faster well i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and if you have any questions about this just leave a comment down below also share your experience with Sodium in the comment section. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and check out the survival SMP series that I play and hit the notification bell to be informed when a new video comes out. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye bye!